स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया Let's talk about normal subgroups. The right context to introduce normal subgroups is uh, from the notion of a group homomorphism. So, let phi from one group G to another group H be a group homomorphism. So that means that uh, phi is just a function from G to H which takes the multiplication operation of G to the multiplication operation of H. That is phi of G1, G2 is phi of G1 into phi of G2. Now I define the kernel of phi which I denote cur phi. It's called the kernel of phi. to be those elements k in G such that phi of k is the identity element of H. It's easy to see that kernel phi is a subgroup of G. Also, uh, we define image of phi, which I'll call m phi, to be the set of all phi of g as g runs over g. In set theory, this is sometimes called the range of the function phi. This is a subgroup of H. Just because phi is a homomorphism, these things have to be subgroups. Okay, now let's try to understand uh, what are the elements which uh, uh, are the pre images of elements of H. So, So take an element H in image of phi. So what does that mean? So there exists G in G, let's say G0 in G, such that phi of G0 is equal to H. Now question is, what are the elements that map to H? So claim set of elements G in G such that phi of G is equal to H is equal to um, G0 times kernel phi, the left coset of the subgroup kernel phi corresponding to G0 and it's also equal to kernel phi times G0, the right coset of kernel phi corresponding to G0. The proof is quite easy. So if phi G is equal to H, then phi of G0 inverse G is phi G0 inverse phi G by the properties of homomorphisms but phi G0 inverse is H so this is H inverse and phi G is also H this is the identity of H. Therefore G0 inverse G belongs to the kernel of phi and hence G 
g belongs to g0 times kernel i'm just multiplying both sides of this equation by g0 okay and uh, you can do the same thing for um, a uh, kernel of phi times g0 for this inclusion you just write it the other way phi of g times g0 inverse and uh, to go the other way suppose uh, g is equal to g0 times k where k belongs to kernel of phi then phi of g is phi of g0 k which is g0 what is phi of k well phi of k is 1 identity of h so that's just phi g0 okay, so this is pretty straightforward so what we see is that when you have a homomorphism its kernel is a very special kind of subgroup its left cosets are also its right cosets okay so writing k for the kernel of phi what we just saw is that g0 k is k g0 for all g0 in g okay this argument that we had earlier applies to any element of g this can be rewritten as g0 k multiplying both sides by g0 inverse is equal this basically defines a normal sum a subgroup h of g is said to be normal if g h g inverse is equal to h for all g in g okay, so we've seen that the kernel of a homomorphism is always a normal subgroup For any homomorphism phi g to h kernel phi is a normal subgroup of g let's look at a somewhat more specific example so last time uh, in one of the earlier lectures we saw that the symmetric group sn goes into there's a homomorphism from the symmetric group sn into the matrix group gln of invertible n by n matrices with say entries in the real numbers so what was this thing the permutation w goes to the matrix with columns E W one, E W two, E W n, where E W i is the ith a coordinate column vector, and from G L N R to uh, to C uh, no to R star so non-zero real numbers under multiplication. we have the homomorphism determinant so if you compose this so let's call this i then determinant circle i is a homomorphism from sn to r star and the kernel of determinant circle i is what is called the alternating group an so 
So this is uh, the subgroup of permutation, the permutation group consisting of all permutations uh, whose um, for which the corresponding permutation matrix has determinant plus one. Okay, and uh, because it's the kernel of a homomorphism, A n is a normal subgroup of S n. Here's uh, another question for you. So we have this uh, in early uh, in an earlier lecture we saw that S n minus one uh, sits inside is a subgroup of S n. You just think of it as the subgroup of S n consisting of all permutations which take n to n. question is, is Sn minus 1 a normal subgroup of Sn? So you can try to think about this yourself.